Systems and welcome to Inverter Drive Systems Training Room. Uh, this is a, a little rig we use to demonstrate savings that can be made by use of a, an inverter. In this case, we're going to demonstrate how you can save energy on a centrifugal uh, load. This, in this case, it's a fan, but this applies to pumps and fans. Uh, here we have an inverter, a motor, a fan and a damper. We're going to use this damper to control the airflow and then we're going to use the inverter to control the airflow and compare the savings we make. What we've got here to read is the current taken by the inverter, the output voltage from the inverter and the speed of the inverter. I have some switches here that can turn the inverter on and off and vary the speed. We're also going to use a balloon to measure the airflow. The height of the balloon will represent the flow of the air. Now, the reason we will be saving energy on this is due to the cube law. Now, all centrifugal loads are subject to this law. At 100% speed, we have 100% power. But if we slow down by just 20% to 80% speed, we get 80% times 80% times 80%, which works out at 50% power. So we've just lost 20% flow, but we've lost half the power. Right, so we're going to control firstly with a damper. So I'm going to turn on the fan. Close the damper to reduce the airflow. So the balloon, height of the balloon represents the flow. You can see there we're around two feet above the, the little piece of duct. But what's happening here is now taking 0.4 of an amp. This represents the, the power taken by the inverter. I'm now going to open the damper and use the inverter to slow down the fan to get the airflow we require. The first thing you'll notice is it's a lot quieter. And I'm going to reduce the speed a little bit more to get that balloon down. There we are. So now we have the same airflow as before, but instead of taking 0.4 of an amp, we are now taking 0.15 of an amp, approximately a third of the power. This is how inverters can save energy when you're under damper control. Thank you.